G'day, g'day everyone, welcome back to the Jimbo channel, and in today's video, I'll be talking about a legend of the game, my childhood hero, Ben Cunnington, as he hangs up the boots to end a great AFL career. Firstly, let's go all the way back to 2010, round 5, against Hawthorne in Tasmania. Ben got 12 disposals and helped North pick up their second win of the season, with Brad Scott as coach. Now this will be important later on. Ben was known as one of the toughest players on the field, who wasn't and still isn't a fan of the preseason. Cunners in 2014 won the Sid Barker medal and guided us to our first prelim final for the decade, pretty much, which was the good old days as a North fan. Unfortunately, we couldn't get to the grand final as we got smashed 65 to 136 against a dominant Sydney outfit, but that cupped off a terrific year for us and a terrific year for Cunners. Cunners was the runners-up in the Sid Barker medal in 2015, another successful year for the club. What caught my eye about this star is the fact that he was so ruthless with the footy. I've even heard stories he used to go into the sheep paddock and shepherd off the sheep, hence why he was so difficult to tackle. Ben Cunnington in 2016 was a bit more quiet than usual, but in 2017, he finished second once again for the Sid Barker medal. And mind you, 2017 was a tough year for the club, so to see him continue... His style of footy was simply amazing. 2019, in my opinion, though, was 100% peak Ben Cunnington. This man was striking fear into great teams like Collingwood and the eventual premiers for that season, Richmond. Brad Scott departed from the club that year, so all the senior North Melbourne players, Ben included, were stepping up, and it was a sight to see. But in July 2021, the whole AFL world was shocked as Ben Cunnington was diagnosed with testicular cancer and immediately had surgery. But after going in for a routine checkup, a secondary cancer was found, forcing Ben to undergo chemotherapy. The whole AFL world was in full support for Ben as he went through nine weeks of chemotherapy. This man is a true soldier and a hero. Ben pushed through and made an emotional comeback to the VFL. This was just amazing to see and it shows the true spirit and love Ben Cunnington has for footy. Cunners made his return to the AFL team in round 22, 2022 in Adelaide against the Crows in another emotional moment as the whole AFL world celebrated that Ben was able to play again. A lot of changes happened in 2022. As you know, David Noble was sacked and Alistair Clarkson was brought in. And I was so excited to see Clarko's plans for Cunners, a player who's been a headache for Clarko for many years at the Hawks. But in the middle of the season, Ben was dropped in favour of Hugh Greenwood. Now here comes the sad day. On Tuesday the 8th of August, Ben Cunnington officially retired. His last game would be against the Bombers at Marvel Stadium. A game that Clarko would be coaching and the same with Brad Scott. Fitting, isn't it? Cunners said that he had lost the hunger he once had after his cancer diagnosis. The whole week was Cunner's week as the media loved him. We were nearly able to b win for Ben against the Dons. Unfortunately, the Dons ran away with the win by 9 points. Cunners kicked two beautiful goals as the whole crowd got around this great to the game. I would usually say thanks for watching, but I've decided to change it up. Cunners mate, as a die-hard North Melbourne fan, I cannot thank you enough for your services to this great club. Every fan of the North Melbourne Footy Club is so proud of you for your dedication, courage, and loyalty. Ben, we are so proud of you, mate. We know how much you love the farm and fishing, so enjoy retirement, mate. Cheers.